said, how's your penis feel today? This is the TRT Community Podcast, where we discuss all things testosterone. Hey. Hey. Hello, Brandon. Hey, Ian. So, my penis feels pretty good today. And we're talking with uh, a urologist for, you know, I, honestly, I'm kind of confused on, on how this works. There's this product, right? We've talked vague, uh, briefly about um, receiving this product and trying it out. It's yes. called the Phoenix. It's mm -hmm. uh, an acoustic wave therapy device. I don't know if you've seen any of this. It's an acoustic wave therapy device for your penis. At home. At home. So this is a treatment that you might go to the doctor. For. Is it like one of those guns that you like? Oh no! Yeah, it's like well, kind of. It's like a jackhammer a of sorts. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You turn it on. You fire it up. You have to mix the oil and gas and pour it in, and then pull the pull two the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, but there's a few more. It, it's shaped kind of like a stealth. You <laughs> like gotta give a it stealth half, fighter. a half choke, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and and it it is it it blasts away all of the unwanted. It it basically widens out those blood flowing breaks up yeah uh, gets all the can, ethanol out yeah exactly but um it does great things and part of what kind of drew me to this company uh is that on their website it says actually i don't know if this was on their website or on an instagram post but it says uh just like many doctors put guys on the totally wrong trt regimen there are also a lot of doctors who aren't even aware of this therapy so they default to pills or even much worse like penile implants and that kind of struck me because you know, guys go in and they complain of anxiety, depression, and then they get the SRI, SSRI medication and their testosterone is never checked. So it was kind of similar um, the way that they worded this, that, you know, you could end up with surgery and a penis implant, whereas, you know, maybe an at-home treatment, which is awkward for sure. We've both done it. No and, doubt. And it, it's loud. It's, it's, um, loud. it's all, you, you have to hold the head of your penis and run this for, mini jackhammer for up 15 and down. or 20 minutes. Yeah, for a long time. So it's uncomfortable and it's awkward, but it's non invasive. Yeah. You know, and you, I mean, it, it's, you know, a pill is invasive, right? Yeah. So yeah, sure. penile implants are the most invasive. And they give you a penis pump with it, too. So you have to, like, yeah, part of the therapy is. That was a new and different <laughs> experience <laughs> as well. <laughs> Every time I think about a penis pump, I just think about that, like, Austin scene at Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so we've got um, Dr. Paul Thompson, and he's the urologist with the company, and John. I think John's a founder. I'm not um, completely sure, but we're going to get... Um, we should ask him. Have we're him we're clarify ask those roles yeah. while on the, on the call. We're cool. con we've confirmed they haven't joined the meeting. Well, I got the email, but they're not in the participation list, participant list, so oh. who knows? I guess we'll just have to like stare at this computer and... Or the TV. I had to call somebody yesterday to do uh, to schedule an appraisal. I knew you'd be good for this. I knew uh, it. Vamping, killing times, killing time. Eric's your man. One hundred percent. You need time killed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you called somebody. Uh, so I had to call a guy yesterday to schedule an appraisal with him, and uh, it was a it was a refinance. Usually, you call like uh, the real estate agent or whatever, right? Because you're not getting in contact with. With the uh, the current homeowner, but this is a refi, so I have to call the, the homeowner. And so uh, I call this guy, <laughs> and in my most like loud, obnoxious voice, <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> yeah, uh, hello? Yeah, hey, this is Eric at uh, WP Appraisers. Just calling to uh, schedule that appraisal on your refinance from Bank of America. I'm I'm gonna be over in Plano there uh, Wednesday afternoon. Is that gonna work for you? Uh, yeah." All right, great. I'm going to be there around uh, 1 p.m. Uh, does that time work for you? Yep. All right, I'll see you then. Hang up the... I, I don't talk like that. I mean, I've been on enough of these people know that that's not what I actually sound like. And everyone in the office is just like, what in the hell just... <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> They're like, you realize you're going to have to go to that guy's house and talk like that. I said, oh, no, I'm not. That's the best part. As I'm going to show up and he's going to be like... What happened to the guy that was like a part-time boot salesman <laughs> that's doing my appraisals? Oh, boy. Did you ever use the the cream that no. numbs? No way. Neither I did, wanted the full effect. Neither did I. The numbing? There's numbing cream? So mm -hmm. it comes with, yeah, it comes with a cream. It comes with like a lubricant and it comes with a, 
a num like a numbing cream because it can be slightly i mean depending on your pain tolerance slightly painful it wasn't that bad i didn't use the numbing cream at all either i just felt like i used a, a more amount of lubricant than i was led to believe i needed to use like at the be at the video on the videos yeah i don't i don't i didn't use the lubricant at all either not not just the numbing but i didn't use the lubricant and i just let it slip naturally on the old foreskin yeah that was another thing about it too was like five skin it would be getting there was no okay first of all there's no way you're getting any kind of semi-erect or erect state when you're doing that and so i felt like it kept catching on the old the old foreskin back and forth back and forth you know five skin five skin five skin yeah but overall, I mean, you know, I, and I watched a video within the past couple of days that was basically like, you know, you might say um, you don't need this product, but even if you're at a nine on the hardness scale, like uh -huh. a diamond, you can still get to a 10. <laughs> yeah. And I would say that was probably my result. It's not something that I was needing, but I was very interested to try it and it didn't hurt. I mean, it didn't make things worse, so I can't complain. The, when you say it didn't hurt, do you mean like... Physically, it didn't hurt. No, I mean, like, you know, like, well, like it, it didn't couldn't make hurt. You go in the opposite direction. Yeah, it didn't make me go in the. I didn't get a smaller penis, a less uh, erect. Uh, <laughs> you don't penis. have a whole lot to. <laughs> I couldn't lose any. <laughs> He's all ball. <laughs> Audio. Okay, we good? Hello. Uh, hey, hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. Great. So we were just chatting a little bit about uh, about the Phoenix. Um, I wasn't incredibly clear about your role versus uh, John. Is John the founder of the company? Yes. And you're a urologist, correct? Correct. So we've just I'm got... The, we've got I'm a the couple. chief medical officer, so... You know, even though John is a brilliant guy, I handle or try to field most of the medical questions and go through the physiology. I have a lot of uh, background in shockwave, so that's that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, cool. I think. It's either that or my good looks. I don't know which one <laughs> it is. Maybe both. It's both. You're set up there. I see you got the mic set up and everything. You know what you're doing. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm living large. I, I was going to have a backdrop here and say I was in studio, but... yeah. <laughs> I was behind, so I was a little maybe lazy. I don't know. Meanwhile, we're over here with someone. One of my neighbors is power washing outside. I can hear a, a, a motor running. So yeah. good times. So well, I wish I'd known I'd, I'd have brought my car over. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some questions for you, and and really, this is more going to be just you know, we're introduced to this product, and we'd like to know more. We've we've tried it. We like the results, but just kind of a high level overview of of what it is, how it works. Uh, what to expect, and then later in future episodes, we'd like to get more in depth and maybe field some live questions, that kind of thing. Um, so, with that said, can you tell us a little bit about you and your background and how you got into urology and more specifically the Phoenix? I'm not sure how I ended up in urology. To be honest with you, I was a uh, I was up uh, I was a surgery resident in, in uh, Michigan. And uh, every other night call, and I said, man, this got to go. <laughs> <I'm getting laughs> it was every other night, 140 hours a week doing a surgery residency. So I said, I got to find something else. And so I got accepted at the University of Louisville, went there, then went into uh, private practice for 21 years of, of just straight urology mm -hmm. uh, in Missouri. And in the meantime, I started a company that subsequently went private or went public and that was a shockwave that's what led me into all this it was kidney stone so we really put together the first totally mobile shockwave treatment that instead of in, in the old days they'd roll a semi-tractor trailer up to a hospital hook it up to a, a dock and the patients would be wheeled in it was oh, wow. it was pretty risky um, the anesthesiologist hated it. They were isolated far away and the patient was in a big tank. And, and what we were able to do is take two machines through the FDA, um, get them FDA approved. And then we started partnerships all over the country. And the neat part about this, this machine was we could actually pull it in, 
um, and take it right into the operating room and do the cases right in the operating room and, and didn't have to have the bath water. Uh, it, it was really, it was a, a, a revolutionary. And now I didn't invent that one either, but I was, I was a big part of getting it approved. Um, and, and then uh, about 50, because I had this company, I had the luxury of going to do exactly what I wanted to do. So I went into a wellness medicine. Uh, I went in with a, a, a national company called Cenogenics. Um, and matter of fact, I did their, their uh, TV commercials and I was in the magazines and on the airplane magazines, that sort of thing. And then I subsequently started the Thompson Clinic and have been on my own for about seven years. Um, and that's when I, I, because of my history with Shockwave, a couple of my partners in that business had gone out on their own and they were in Europe doing some Shockwave on non-healing ulcers of the extremities and they were using this same technology and they were healing the ulcers. And, and that's where neovascularization and all that um, essentially came from. Okay. And so, I mean, this, this stuff, it, it's science, it really works. And I can imagine that it's, it's similar, like with the ulcer, are you just regenerating? Are you creating more blood flow, that type of thing to heal? Well, without going in too much depth or as much depth as you want, I, I don't care either way. I, I, I love to talk and I love to be in front of a camera. So <laughs> I got, you know, and there plus all my buddies are at my house working on my well. So I don't want to go do that. So I'm, <laughs> I'll be here. Um, if you go back to that ulcer study, it, it, it looked, they weren't exactly sure what was going on and why these were healing. And, and, and what it comes down to is with the, with the acoustic wave, it creates some micro trauma. That micro trauma causes stem cells, growth factors, cytokines that we all hear about, the horrible cytokines, uh, but they're all necessary. And that, that's micro trauma. And then they come in and what happens through that, we create new blood vessels. So you get this process of neovascularization. Not only do you do that, but you also heal damaged vessels in the area. So if you think of, of, of vessels, people always think, oh, my coronary arteries, oh, my aorta, oh, the big ones that have little short names. You know, the bigger the, the artery, the, the shorter the name. So when you get into some of these really long named vessels and some of the capillaries don't have a name and the endothelium gets disrupted and it doesn't take much to block off a capillary. I mean, you know, you see the pictures on the, on the commercials where the one red blood cells going through at a time. And well, you think about it, their endothelial endothelium's inflamed and damaged that it's not going to go through and it's going to be blocked. And that's what we see. You have to have all those capillaries. We, we just think of a big artery, uh, like filling up a swimming pool. We're going to, we're going to fill up our penis with blood. And yeah. that's, that's not exactly the way it works. Yeah. But it, it, it goes in, and if you look at what they did, I believe it was UCLA, they actually, now these weren't human studies, and you'll understand why in a minute, um, but they cut the penis off rats, hence why it wasn't a, you know, weren't a lot of volunteers <laughs> for that one. Um, yeah. I mean, there might be today in the world we live in today, but at that time there weren't. Um, so, and that's not a political comment. Um <laughs> And so what they did is they saw all these, that's where they saw all the stem cells and they went, Oh God, look at that. I mean, all these stem cells are attracted to the area. It's exactly what we want to do. Stem cells are attracted to trauma. So I always talk to when I talk to my patients about this and they, they want to use the, they want to use the, 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 the Phoenix every day. I'm going to use it every day. And I go, dude, you can't do that. It's like if working you go out to the gym yeah. and you work out chest every exactly. day. You're never going to grow. Yeah. Because what happens is you got to grow when you go home. Yeah. And, and it's kind of the same thing. We're going to go in and we're going to cause some micro trauma. And, and then we let the body heal itself. And it, it really works well. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you guys have used it and mm -hmm. I, uh, it just works. And, 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 you know, it, it's, it's not overnight. It takes weeks. But with a guy with, with decent erections, not complete ED, oh, those guys will see results 
after the first treatment. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's where I was at. You know, I, if I was at a nine, it just took me to a 10 and it, it's not, it's not the kind of thing that you can just say, well, I don't have any problem. I don't have any use for it. If you, if you're at a nine on the one to 10 scale, yeah. it can take you to a 10. There's a, there's a so decent benefit there. I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit and maybe not necessarily devil's advocate, but just like internal dialogue in my own head. I'm thinking like, I don't really have issues with an erection. Yeah. Like, right. So like, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe I'm already at that nine or what, like what, what, what's the difference between a nine and a 10? Like I have no issues lasting. I have no issues like, right, like, so so why would a 35-year-old guy like me that has no, uh, no discernible issues, yeah. why would this be something that I would want to use? You know, all, all I would say is that I don't know that I could verbalize the difference between a 9 and a 10 until, you know, a day or two after I used it the first time. It was just better, bigger a little bit. Um, do you have, you've got, do, you, do your patients report size growth? Yeah, and, and, and don't confuse, and I'm not talking down to you, but I'm just, I'm trying to make sure we don't ever make claims that aren't real. Don't, don't confuse, we're not going to lengthen a penis. You know, you have what you have, but you do, you do get increased girth and you get a full erection. So it, it, it does seem bigger. You know, I always tell people that it's kind of like a dimmer switch. And we're kind of getting gaslighted with our, our penises. And it just, they just turn it down a little bit, you know? That, that needs to go in the Facebook down. group. And now, you're, now you're 35, mm, turn it down a little bit. And you forget, and I'm going to go to the gutter here, you forget those old belly slappers we had when we were 14. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Exactly. You, you forget. You know yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's what it reminded me of. That's a really good point. It reminded me of being in high school and it was just a little bit better quality than, than normal. I think the mental aspect of it though is huge too. Cause if you feel like you have the belly slapper, <laughs> <laughs> like your, your mindset as a 35 year, you still, you think I still got it. And as men, we, we definitely yeah. want that. We definitely want the eternal youth or within, you know, that feeling within the first day or two of my first treatment. All I could think was, where's my backpack? I need to hide this erection. Where, where is that thing? <laughs> tuck, tuck it in your tuck belt. It up in your belt. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you start sweating cause you know, the teacher's going to call you to the front of the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. So the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box and fired it up is that it is, it is loud. It sounds like metal on metal. Um, and it was kind of scary. Subsequently noticed that it, it's not painful. It's, it's not, it's nothing. But, um, do you have patients complain of either the sound or pain from using the equipment? Not uh, the sound. Yeah. I mean, but even, even the 50, $60,000 storage machine is just as loud. I mean, that's just the way it works. Okay. And our shock waves from, for kidney stones are loud. I mean, so they're loud, loud enough that we would put headphones on our patients. Okay. Um, so yeah, it is loud. You're not going to sneak around and do that without other people in your house. Know what's going on. Um, <laughs> I want to be home by Brand, yourself. Yeah. Brandon's Saturday night's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something that, you know, that we had talked about is how am I going to use this thing in my house? You're not going to use it without people knowing, you know. Uh, I wait till my wife go goes to, to work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can go to the garage, turn your stereo on in your car really loud and sit in there and put the windows up, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But when you have a cop the peering the door over or it doesn't work well, you know, police but, officer peering over the fence and <laughs> yanking you out of that car. Yeah, you can't do it in the backyard either cuz <laughs> neighbors will start, you yeah. Know. Yeah. What was you know, the other thing with the other question you had was you said, well, the difference between a nine and a 10, I have two comments about that. Number one is when Viagra first came out um, oh, years and years ago, as a urologist, we were just, they just gave us tons of samples. And of course, every urologist, if they told you they didn't try it, they're lying. And I remember we, it, it became like a social drug. I mean, everybody wanted it. <laughs> And you, I took that and I thought, somebody said, you're going to take it. I went, I had the same comment. Oh, I don't need anything. I'm yeah. fine. I'm, you know, 40 years old and holy mackerel. It was, it was eye opening. I had forgotten. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten. And that's right. That's when I realized that we were kind of getting fooled here and that things were changing. We just weren't aware of it. As far as you're a nine and is a 10 that much better. I guarantee you 10 better, but 
do you go to the gym? I mean, you, you guys are young and you're doing, I got to go to the gym cause I'm going to be 65, but you, you, you go to the gym to, to maintain and keep your edge all the time. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's a really cool thing about this is you're not damaging anything, but you're, you're making sure everything stays open. And, and I can guarantee you the difference between 35 and 65 nothing changes up here i'm still an 18 year old trapped in this body yeah and i it's the only difference is 30 years you know I've, I've 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 been through a little bit more but i guarantee it's exactly the same and and i think that's the beauty of it because i'd hate to be at 65 and be left out there with nothing yeah i mean it sure. would be devastating Sounds like the 65 year old Dr. Paul Thompson saying his penis, his erection is better than yours. <laughs> okay, that's just a demonstration part now. <laughs> oh gosh, and we've got we've got some fans in our Facebook group that use it, that swear by it, that love it, uh, and we're going to get them on on the podcast at some point. Um, Ian, you had a you had a question for Dr. Paul, right? Well, I did have a question. It's a bit of a personal anecdote to start, and then a question about. Um, how this could give someone like myself a, a better shot. So uh, venous leak. Uh, last summer, I went to a urologist here locally, and it's he apparently he's one of the, the few urologists in our area that does a penile Doppler study. And I was having issues, felt like my blood flow was not great to my penis. Uh, had a Doppler study done. They injected it with Trimix. He did the, the, the Doppler study, and... I was diagnosed with venous leak. And so I was pretty excited when Brandon told me about this <clears throat> because I, I had been looking into it in an in-office, you know, clinic setting with that, with uh, my urologist to take care of it. And he told me, one of the things he told me about it was he goes, he goes, it just depends on your budget. It's like, you know, it's a $2,500 uh, cost for, you to do it if that's a lot of money to you then i would say it's probably not worth it if it's nothing to you then it's probably worth it i i was just trying to see is there hope for those of us those guys like us that have venous leak is that something that can be turned around with the phoenix uh, i know that the instructions mention you, you 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 can go along the base and that that might help some of it but is is there hope in that there is there is hope. Obviously, venous leak is is. Um, I'm not going to tell you it's a trash can term, but a lot of people get thrown in there because the urologist throws up his hands, or the or the physician. Just That's what it felt they don't like. Know where to go. Yeah. But and I'm not saying that in your case because you had a Doppler, so don't think that's what I'm saying. But many other people do. But if we can increase the blood flow. Um, obviously it, it helps. Are we going to make it a hundred percent? I think we're going to markedly improve it. I'll tell you that. I'm going to tell you that for sure. So maybe never get that um, 10, but maybe you can get that nine. Yeah. So it Even sounds to me, for me yeah, for sounds me, like though, Dr. Paul is saying his erection is better than yours too. I mean, for what I've been through the last year and discovering that Dr. Paul just flexing on us. <laughs> the venous. Yeah. <laughs> from what, from, from where I've been in the last year, discovering that and just the, the ups and downs I've been through with all of it, it you know, I'm, I'm on uh, five milligrams Tadalafil a day. Uh, I'm, I'm using the Phoenix not regularly enough. I should be using more regularly, but that has improved it some, but there's still days where the blood flow is just not great. So even getting to seven, eight, nine, or whatever we want to call the scale, <laughs> that would be a world of difference for me because yeah. it's pretty, like I was talking about earlier, it's pretty mentally defeating on this end of it. Mm -hmm. To be like, well, is this ever going to work right again? Or is this ever going to have the belly slapping effect <laughs> like it? I love that term, by the way. You know, TRT uh, t-shirt. Yeah. Get a belly slapper. Yeah. So it would, like I said, it does, it does wonders mentally. And I, this, I'm, I, I'm so happy that Brandon, this was able to come together and Brandon texted me about it. I'm like, heck yeah, I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> Yeah. You you really need to here I am giving you advice. Um I didn't intend that. I'm so first, sorry. <laughs> first one's free. Send me a bill. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just hold up your insurance card, will you please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh you should be doing this twice a week. Okay. 
no more, no less. And you need to do it. You may, it may take, you may do it twice a week for a month and then take a little time off and, and restart it. Um, I've got a lot of people that'll just, when, before we had this, I had a lot of people that would come to the office and they would spend six to $10,000 for multiple, multiple treatments and, and still come in every three months and get another treatment. That's again, the beauty of this. But if you're going to correct something, if you're really going to fix it again, I'm going to take you back to the gym. I'm going to tell you, you don't go in once a month and think you're going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Exactly. I mean, plus you got to juice a lot, but <laughs> you, you, you're not going to be there. So I, I, I really want you to think of it that way. And I know it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. And, and I think this is a, <clears throat> the beauty of this is there's no downside uh, other than you're going to lose 20 minutes of your life. But I guarantee you, when people say, I don't have time, I, I think that's bullshit because I think we spill hours in every day. Yeah. We waste so much time of our lives. Yeah. And this is a really, you know, turn the TV, I don't care. Yeah. But, you know, just get her done. Because yeah. it's not going to hurt. The, the neat part about the technology being radial is you don't, you get, it, it, it penetrates but it's not going to damage anything and it doesn't hurt. And and with the way John has it set up, you don't even get any significant skin breakdown. You know, mm -hmm. some of the stronger ones you'll see guys will get skin damage and you have to be very careful. And that's something we didn't want. We didn't want to send somebody home with a device that was going to cause them problems. I expected to see some bruising or something, but yeah, nothing, no, no bruising, yeah, no, no issues. swelling except for that swollen erection. No. I had a guy, um, he came in, he was, he wanted, he, he, he purchased a Phoenix, but he wanted some treatments in here first with the, with the regular device. And I treated him and on his third visit in, he told my nurse that for the first time, and this is where it kind of gets, you kind of get, yeah. The first time in three years he had relations with his wife. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, you know how frustrating that would be. And you kind of feel like, huh, it's over. There's such a beauty of this, uh, of this device. And I hate to keep saying that over and over, but I just, you know, it, you mentioned Trimix. Yeah. All these the treatments list. have risks. All of them. I can't find one on this other than the risk is, it's not a hundred percent. It's probably 80, 80 plus percent, but that's your risk. Yeah. I mean, your risk right. is that, but with Trimix, hell, I've operated on guys with erections. They come in and, and they've had them for, you know, eight hours. Yeah. They'll never get another erection on their own ever after we're done yeah. because we can't get the blood out and it's damaged everything. So there are risks with all these treatments. We've all heard about people having, uh, side effects with Cialis and Viagra, they're minimal. And I would say Cialis is a very safe drug. Um, the daily one's fantastic because the endothelial benefits and the prostate benefits, we know it's good, but we don't necessarily want to rely on medication. And in yeah. my practice, my practice Agreed. is all about putting your health into your own hands. And, and that's why this Literally. fits so well is I tell my patients, this is a 50, 50 deal. My practice, they call me Paul. I know I'm a doctor already. They know I'm a doctor. They wouldn't be here. And I, my ego's big enough. I don't need to be told that all the time. <laughs> it is, but I do have a big ego. I'm arrogant. I'm arrogant apparently too, but that's a whole nother show. But <clears throat> I tell them it's a 50, 50 deal. You got your 50%. If you don't do it, that's your own fault, but you're not going to get where we want to be. If we're both not on the team. It's a team effort. This is a team effort. You got to do your part. You got to take that time to, to use the device. It's sitting right here on, on my back shelf. It, it's not doing anything. Were I got to plug you it using in and go to prior work. to jumping on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I really like that outlook. The, you know, we were just talking earlier about not throwing unnecessary medications at a problem, you know, if you can fix it with other means and, and things like Trimix, Cialis, not so much, but Trimix can be a real mood killer. You know, if you have to say, hang on just a second, baby, let me go or hang on just a second, baby. Will you stick this needle in my oh, penis? No. Nobody <laughs> wants to never again. That. Yeah. Never again. Uh, I had a, yeah, I had a two 
pushing two and a half hour erection with it. And it was, I was like, I, I never again, and I'm definitely not ever injecting my own yeah. dick again. I can't, so, I can't It's not happening. <laughs> not yeah, not but quite it, the same experience as like, hey, you want to roll this condom on? <laughs> hey, <laughs> with shoot your this, mouth? <laughs> <laughs> shoot this in my wiener. Right, right. Yeah. And, it, and if you can, you can do something that is going to avoid that awkward scenario and, and you can do it privately and it, even to avoid taking daily Cialis, I'm all for it. I would much rather solve the problem and throw another medication on top. Yeah, agreed. And you get to flex on all the people that you go on podcasts with and tell exactly. them you have better erections than they 10 do. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just heard 10s over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he only said that about 10 times. <laughs> you know, 10. We, we didn't even ask. So. <laughs> it's a 10. I don't know who's got the bigger ego. 10. <laughs> all right, Doc, we appreciate you coming on. Um, I'm going to get, uh, get us scheduled for a more in-depth, maybe like a live... Q and A thing, so you can calm some nerves. Uh, yeah, of- you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm a hundred percent involved, and I try and do everything I can to get this going. And we're doing a great job, and I'm I'm available to you, um, and I'll take the time and do this whenever you want. Sounds good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you understand that as a urologist, we're we're like perpetual adolescents. So <laughs> yeah. we, like to, we like to say penis and erections and everything. That's, That's all we do. We That's just talk about thing. penises and erections all day. So yeah. hit the button. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, you so you much. May be honorary <laughs> urologist. Yeah. <laughs> she said that it was as big as it it's ever been. That was me. <laughs> that was you. That was me like a year ago. <laughs> All right, Doc. Thanks. Okay, Talk to guys. you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Thank Paul. Thank you. Take care. Bye. He was great. All right. So it might be one of the coolest doctors I've ever yeah, had cool. the experience to talk to. Yeah. He reminded me of that renegade pharmacist. Uh, Remember talking with him? Yeah. Kind yeah. of similar. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Cool. Thank you for listening to the TRT Community Podcast. You can find us online at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash TRT community. 